So I'm just going to continue with uh, string manipulation and basically uh, a, a little video using strings here and also show you how to use an escape binet and do a little practice. So we'll start with uh, just well any old string and we'll put it in a variable. So we'll call it core pop and core pop is equal to hello world. No, actually. We'll put we'll put we'll put Peter is seven. Peter is short. Peter is male. Okay. So let's imagine that we want to print this out. This uh, entire kind of sen sentence, as it were. Okay. But we want to print out every single uh, fact about pt to so these three facts about pt we want to print one of these facts on each line so the first line should be peter is seven the second line peter is short and the third line peter is male a way that we can do that is well first of all i'm going to get rid of these commas instead of having these commas we want each statement to be on a new line and so i'll make one space i will use this character which is known as the escape character along with an n and when i print this statement out this sh this should print a new line so where the slash n is there should be a new line and we should see that peter is seven is on its own line and then peter is short and peter is male are both on one different line see that peter is seven peter is short Peter is male. Now I need to get rid of that space just to make it a bit better, more appreciable. Put another N here, and this should be good to go. We should have all three facts on three separate lines. Okay, so here we are. Peter is seven, Peter is short, Peter is male. Every single one of these three different statements these different facts about peter are all in their own respective lines and this is because of the slash n character so in order to um, escape this or in order to make a new line slash n starts a new line in a string yeah slash n starts a new line in the string you see there where slash n is and slash n is and how the new lines begin there so that's one way in which we can manipulate a string. Now, there's another problem that we may encounter when uh, when messing around with strings. We'll say long string equals, oh, I don't know, let's just make something up, shall we? We'll make it up as Jerry thinks he is 77 years old. And we want this 77 in quotation marks. The the only problem is, if you look at the colour here, it's acting as though these this item here, Jerry thinks he is, is one string, and years old with a space is another string, and 77 is being read as a number. So what's happening is this, these two uh, qu double quotation marks aren't being read as double quotation marks. They're signaling the, the first one signals the end of this string, Jerry thinks he is, and the second one signals the start of the space with years old. What we want this to do is print the two uh, quotation double quotation marks within the string. We want them inside our string. So what we can do once again is have the escape character and that d double quotation marks, 77, escape character again with the double quotation marks and this won't print it won't print the uh the escape character which is the slash it'll just print these quotation marks and the 77 if we print this out so print long string Jerry thinks he is, quotation marks, 77 years old. And to prove that this wouldn't work normally, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll basically copy and paste this 
and I'll take out the escape character here. So that's an escape character. That's what this is called. And invalid syntax straight away. And um, because there's no addition between the two, uh, 77 is an integer. And yeah, this just this just is totally invalid, right? I'll get rid of that now. And I'll put a single line comment slash is the escape character. And this can be used for a few other different functions. Okay, this, this has a few other functionalities. You can do more than print just double quotes and slash n, but I won't go into it now as it's a bit of an advanced concept in itself, or more of an intermediate concept, I would say. Something I'd like to show you now, um, just so you can get a feel for, is the difference between addition and concatenation. Uh, so what is concatenation? So let's say that we have a string called concatenated and it's equal to kilt and space plus whiskey it's equal to kilt and whiskey and then we have a variable called addition which is equal to 99 plus 1 okay so we'll run them both now let's print the values of those two of those two uh, variables concatenated and let's print out addition yeah so concatenated should come out and it should just say kilt and whiskey there we are and addition should come out as a hundred okay now we're going to make a another variable called concatenated to 2 which is going to be equal to 99 as a string plus 1 as a string and then we'll print that out and you should see that instead of printing out 100 as is printed out in addition the number 991 is printed out but actually this is a string of 99 plus 1 so when when you use the addition symbol with two strings they're not it's not a number addition it's it's what's known as concatenation and in concatenation the first string all of the characters in the first string uh, are your base and then whatever's added onto it, all of these characters are then added onto this string of characters. So this is placed, this whiskey is placed wherever the last character is in this string. So for example, if we get rid of the space here, and then we print concatenated, you can see that and whiskey becomes one word. This is because there is no space between and and whiskey. And so whiskey, the string whiskey, has just been added straight on to the end of this kilt and. But because there is no space, the word and and the word whiskey are not uh, are not separated. In the same manner, when the string 99 is added to the string 1, or the string 1 rather is added to the string 99, you get 991 as a string. This is because 1 is put onto the end of the string 99. So it becomes 9, 9 as two characters, then 1. So it becomes three characters which are one string, 9, 9, 1, rather than being 100. So there is a difference between the effects of using a plus symbol between two integers or two floats and using the plus symbol between two strings. You cannot do uh, digit addition by adding two strings um, that are both numbers together. It will not produce the same effect as digit addition, as, as addition in, in, in regular numbers, should I say. So be aware of that whenever you do addition. Any kind of addition that you do um, with two numbers that you want to be printed out, do the addition first and then print out the added numbers. Do not 
use the two separate numbers and then turn them into strings and add the strings together because that will not give you the number you're looking for in the form of a string. Okay, so that's just a little warning there. Next thing we'll do is I, th I think we should maybe replace some strings, just show you how that replace function really works. So we'll make a new string called um, on. Yeah, and on is equal to on, 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 on. And you can see how some of those O's are capital O's and some of those O's are not capital O's. So let's go ahead and print on. We printed variable on just to confirm it. Now let's print variable on with a replace argument. So let's replace all the regular O's, the non-capital O's, with non-capital I's. Okay. So print that on, 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 on. And you see how it's only changed one of these ons. So these, this replace um, function is completely character sensitive. As you can see, it has not replaced the uppercase O's. It's only replaced the lowercase O's. Another feature of this is we can actually have it replace the O-N with I rather than just the O. And this has resulted in three I's because one, two, three O N's have been replaced. So it can replace more than just a single character. It can replace a whole section of um, of a string. I can replace the on, on, on by the same manner. I can replace it with I, or I can replace it with uh, colo, if for some reason, or whatever I want, fizz. So we'll replace it with fizz, and it should be fizz, non, non, fizz, on, non, non. It should be fizz, on, non, non. Fizz, on, non, non. Because we've replaced this sequence, O, N, capital O, N, capital O, N, capital O, N, with fizz. And so replace is, is quite simple. It can be used as well in place of, so let's say uh, we have, I don't know, we have uh, a string, porky, and it's it's got 300 million characters. Inside of this, it has the name Peter, blah, 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 Peter, blah, 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 blah. Peter. Okay. Let's imagine that this text here, it's some kind of story. Okay. And we've copied and pasted this from the internet and we wanted to replace it uh, with a different name. We, we, we decided we don't like the name Peter, but we haven't generated it from a program. So we don't have a variable to store Peter into. And we want to change manually every instance of Peter. Well, it's not a problem because we can print Porky dot replace oh, Peter with Daniela Daniela if you're uh, Spanish speaking oh, need to define Porky first in fact I'll just do all of that together and you can see it's put Daniela Daniela, Daniela, Daniela. And in this way, if we uh, download something that has a name or may maybe just a, 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 a certain character or, I don't know, a certain part of a string that we want to replace, we can replace it all. Another good example of this is say that, um, for example, here, Corporpo, yeah? Maybe we, we don't want those new lines. Maybe we just want instead to show... Uh, the facts themselves, right? So we put print corpor dot replace, and we want to replace those new lines. This will happen if you do any kind of data science or anything like that. We want to replace them with nothing, and we just want to get rid of them. So we've put as our first argument the new line symbol, 
and our second argument we've just put two quotation marks but with nothing in them so it won't replace them with anything and we should get this all on one line you see that and that's just you know a simple way to replace all kinds of things all kinds of digits another thing we can do is have a little uh, prediction shall we so let's say five char charming in five characters and we'll make some uh, uh, we'll make a string of five characters t r e n i and if you look at this five character thing here and you, if you see it as a uh, as an array or as it being zero to four it's zero for t one for r two for e three for n four for i like that okay so that means we should be able to guess uh what what what, what array number or what character is is going to be at a certain array number so for example in five char zero should be t so if we print five char zero we should get t yeah oh we need to define it first though would help if i define things first instead of just going at 500 miles an hour there we are so we've got t from that and i'll give you a few seconds to guess what five char three would be so yeah five char three would be n and 5 char 4 would be i. This is a good way of remembering that kind of numbers and order of things don't go in order of 1, 2, 3. They start at 0 and go up to the end. We can also look at the length of this. So we can print len 5 char. And it should be a length of 5. Should be a length of five. A good thing to remember is that everything in, in, in Python a string will start the first letter or the first item in, in in a variable like this will be zero and the last item will be the length of the variable, i.e. the string in this case, minus one. See that? You see how array number four is actually or number four is actually uh, i, the last num the last uh, item within the string so this is a good exercise you can do just uh, just just to get used to this order how things start from zero and go upwards and also to look at the length and how that relates to it you know this kind of replacing uh, replacing game that i've done here replacing these slash ends replacing these items is a good way to get used to how strings works and how they can be manipulated same with playing with the concatenation and the addition there so if you have any spare time, I'd suggest you do any of these exercises on your own, just to try and get a kind of better understanding of how strings work, the difference between strings, string addition and integer or float addition, and just how to kind of manipulate them.